Hey, what is up? It's Surge coming at you again with another tech tutorial. This time it's going to be a hybrid. We're going to be messing with Windows and we're also going to be messing with our Android phones. This tutorial is going to be over LastPass and KeyPass, essentially password managers. I use a password manager to keep all my different websites passwords in one program, which I use LastPass for Opera, Firefox, and Chrome and it keeps all my passwords in there safe with one master password. I'm not going to go too in depth in it in this video. If you want a video of me showing you and demonstrating LastPass, be sure to leave a comment down below so I know you guys want that video. But essentially what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to take your passwords from LastPass and use them on KeePass on your phone. Now you might be asking yourself, why use KeePass on your phone instead of LastPass? Well, the thing is, with LastPass, if you want it on your phone, you have to pay for a yearly subscription, and you actually have to pay for it. Even though LastPass is a very great password manager and password vault, I really don't like paying a monthly subscription for just the application and just to be able to use the application on my phone. So what I do is I use KeePass, which is a password vault as well, just like LastPass, but it's free for your Android phone and it does essentially the same thing as LastPass. Now here's where we run into some problems though. You can't simply take the CSV file from LastPass and use it in KeePass. You're going to have to do a conversion and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to need to download two things. Um, like I said before, I'm making the assumption that you've already used LastPass and you have it all set up. Uh, either in your Opera, Firefox, or Chrome web browser. And so you should have a little icon like this on one of your web browsers. But what we're going to actually have to do is download the portable version, so it's going to be a temporary thing, to successfully complete this. So all the links will be in the description down below, and it'll take you right to where I'm at currently. When you get to this place, you're going to be on this, on the Recommended section. Go ahead and click on Windows then go all the way down and go to LastPass Pocket and go ahead and download that. It's an .exe file that will download in seconds. It's a really small file. Alright, so next we're going to go and get KeePass and we're going to use a portable version as well. Make sure you get the Professional Edition because I found that if you download the Classic Edition, which does have a portable option, it doesn't allow you to export or import as well as Professional Edition does. Professional Edition has a lot more options so go ahead and download this portable edition it will link you over to SourceForge and your download will start in a matter of seconds and then go ahead and let that download the last pass download you got was an exe this is a shortcut I have it in a different location but it will say pocket.exe and it's good to go you can just double click and it'll open right up now here's my email you just type in your email there and then the password that you use for LastPass, this is what they call the master password. So go ahead and type that in here. Alright, and for data location, you could just load it from LastPass.com. They'll download it from their servers. And for remember, you can leave remember my email. Uh, it will automatically be filled on the next time you open this, this exe, which happened with me. I left it selected. Uh, I don't recommend leaving your password on here uh, unless it's a trusted computer but even then you know try to keep very secure and leave that unchecked and then go ahead and open alright so all your passwords show up uh, for your, for me all you see is the group name and the passwords with asterisks I just did that for my own security um, but you'll see all your passwords and your usernames in these columns here once this pops up then we can go ahead and do an export so just go to file and then export or you can use the shortcut control E so I'm just gonna do control E and export your data window will pop up all you have to do is hit the export a plain text copy of your data in CSV uh, it says it won't be protected against theft and will be readable by anyone with access to the exported file so in other words this will put all of your usernames and passwords in plain text so if anyone gets this file, they'll have all your information for your login. So we're only doing this temporarily, but be sure to keep this file safe. 
So I'm gonna select that and then type in your master password again. Okay, and select the location you want it to be backed up to. I'm just gonna leave it as default, but you can hit browse and specify a location, preferably somewhere locally, so you can keep as safe as possible. And leave these unchecked. You don't want to remember all any of this, and then go to export. And I'm getting a can't create file access is denied I'm gonna go and hit details okay and essentially what this is is the CXE isn't running in admin mode so it doesn't have the permissions to write anything to my C drive so I'm just gonna hit OK if this happens to you find a different location but what I'm actually gonna do is hit cancel X out of this right click the EXE and run as administrator it's the same window that we logged into before I'm gonna hit open I've gone ahead and made the columns smaller again for my own privacy and then hit export and then the export your data window will pop up hit the export in plain text radio button type in your master password and I'm gonna leave it the same as before it gave me an error due to it not having permissions it shouldn't give me that error this time so I'm gonna hit export and your data was successfully exported so if you do get that error make sure you right click on the .exe file for this application and run as administrator so I'm gonna hit OK and that's it you have successfully exported your CSV file for your last pass so all your passwords are in this CSV file so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize now here's part two whenever you downloaded the professional edition uh, portable of KeePass it downloaded the zip file so go ahead and extract that zip file I went ahead and made a folder named key pass and extracted it in there alright we want to run this keypass.exe right click it and run as administrator this time just so we avoid any kind of issues as we did before with LastPass and minimize that and you will be presented with this window we're gonna hit this new image right here and it will create a new one or you can do control N or you can go to file and new so I'm actually just gonna make it in C and I'm just gonna leave it as the default new database you can name it whatever you want and then hit save and then use a master password I usually just use the same one I used for LastPass because essentially it's the same file it's just in a different format so I'm gonna hit OK and then all these setting all these tabs you can change anything you want in here honestly it's it's fine if you leave it on default alright so go ahead and hit OK and then you'll get these two samples that I usually just select both of them and hit delete and delete there we go and then I also delete all of these reason I do this is just to keep it cleaner and my last pass is already organized the way I like it so there's really no need for these key pass folder groups that it makes and that's it all of them are deleted and now we're gonna import that file that we made with LastPass so go to file and import and then under password managers scroll down to LastPass CSV select it and then go to this folder icon and select that CSV file so mine is in my C drive so I went ahead and navigated there and select the .csv open it and then hit OK and there we go and you'll see my main folder here which is the same name of the group I had here on my last pass application here are all my passwords and all my logins on the side so and I just went ahead and made the column smaller for my own privacy and then once you're done with this and we can go ahead and hit file and export and then select key pass KDBX which is the 2.x version so go ahead and select that and hit this button here so you can export it somewhere usually what I do to make things faster I have Dropbox installed on my computer and my phone so I just save it in my Dropbox folder so I can go ahead and open it up on my phone and simply copy it over to my SD card but you can save it to wherever you want for now and We'll worry about the rest later so hit save and save it somewhere alright so I'm not actually gonna do it now 
I already have one saved, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and X out of here. And then you can discard any changes. Okay, so I actually named my file 3.6.14 because that's today's date. And it's the KDBX file. And I actually have it in my Dropbox folder. I'm kind of jumping the gun a little bit because the next step is putting it on your phone so you can access it there. So what I usually do, like I said, I put it in the Dropbox folder and access it from my phone and then export it from Dropbox onto my SD card or anywhere you can find it with the KeePass application. So go ahead and do that and somehow put it on your phone and then we'll get started on the phone. Okay, so here we are in the KeePass application on my Android phone. You can go ahead and download this from the Google Play Store. It's absolutely free. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to go ahead and grab this. All you have to do is enter the database file name here at the bottom. So go ahead and hit that folder icon here and that will open up the actions menu and I use ES File Explorer. Use whatever file explorer you need to get to your KDBX file. Now if you did use the Dropbox method, do not select Dropbox. If you do select Dropbox and point this application to a location in your Dropbox folder, it, it will not work, at least in my case. So what I usually do is I export the file from Dropbox somewhere onto your phone storage, either on SD card or your internal phone storage. So go ahead and go to File Explorer and go ahead and navigate to the KDBX file. Okay, once you have selected it, then you should see the KeePass database file name is in that location. And I usually check the box here, use this as my default database. And every time you open KeePass Droid, then this will automatically pop up. And all you have to do is type in your password, which is what I'm going to do now. All right, and once you type in your password, then all of your passwords and everything are on here. And then you can select one. I'm going to just select one of them here. And this is for my uh, home router. You'll have the password here, which is hidden, but you can hit the show password up here and I will show you the password and you can copy it. But as you see up here, two notifications came up for KeyPass Droid and you have the option to copy the username to your clipboard or copy the password to your clipboard and all you have to do is select one of them and it will do just that and then after a, a certain amount of time it will it will go away and erase everything from your clipboard for safety and you can actually close the application and for example let's say you need to go to your web browser you can actually go to your web browser and this will stay in your no notifications panel and you can simply copy by tapping on any one of those. All right, so that is it for this very lengthy tutorial. There's a whole bunch of things you have to do. You have to convert and then you have to transfer it over to your phone. And, you know, it is kind of a lengthy process. But for me, it's worth it because I can keep all my passwords that I have on my computer on my phone. And if your passwords, if you start add, adding more passwords to your last pass fault on your computer then obviously you're gonna have to redo this process again to update that KDBX file on your phone just do the exact same thing as you probably saw on my phone I had another KDBX file underneath the one I just made today and that's just my old one uh, you know I've added more passwords since then and I just redo the process to update my passwords and remember that the LastPass CSV file that you made, the one in my case was located on my C drive, make sure to delete that because it is in plain text and you do not want that to end up in the wrong hands. It will cause a lot of problems for you. All your passwords will be out there in the open, so make sure to delete that CSV file. All right, hopefully I covered everything. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button so more people can see this video. Also, please do me a favor and share this video with all your friends so they could be enlightened by this video as well. Last but not least, be sure to check out my channel. 
I have a whole bunch of other tech videos in there that you might also like and find interesting. So there's many more videos like these coming out soon, so be sure to subscribe so you can get all the latest videos as soon as they come out. Alright guys, that's it for now. Y'all have a good one.